right, welcome back. Now, today the Department of Transport in KwaZulu Natal is showcasing the latest technology and equipment that, uh, that will be used to curb fraud and corruption. We cross live to our morning live producer, Kirat Lala. He is in Peter Marie's back this morning. Kirat, it's a very good morning to you. And uh, I must say, we're all looking forward to today's broadcast. It's going to be quite an interesting one with all the demonstrations. Yes, indeed. Good morning, Palesa. Well, as you can see, the first visuals you have there is of a truck in, uh, on a way bridge. So the trucks that are coming off uh, from the highway are weighed to make sure that the um, tonnage is correct, etc. before they're allowed back onto the road. Now, we are broadcasting live here from the Mkodeni Peter Marisberg testing station. So the KwaZulu Natal Department of Transport is today showcasing all the latest technology to cure the, the, the scourge of fatalities as well as fraud and corruption on the province's roads. Now joining me now is the KwaZulu Natal Transport HOD, Sibusi Sogumi, to tell us more about what is happening today. Good morning HOD and welcome to Morning Live. Yeah, good morning to all the listeners of, uh, and the viewers of the Morning Live. So tell us today, what, what, what in essence is happening today? Indeed, today is the special day for the Department of Transport in the province of KwaZulu-Natal, where the Honorable MSC uh, Kaunda will be officially uh, delivering his uh, budget speech for the financial year. Uh, he will indeed be outlining all the key thrust of the objectives of the Department of Transport and further indicating what will be the service delivery projects so that will be implemented in the financial year. Now talk to us about these different um, vehicles, technologies, testing stations, mobile testing stations. Why does the KwaZulu Natal Transport Department need these? As we are here at Umkonden, Umkonden is one of our testing stations within the province of KwaZulu Natal. As you have observed over the years that uh, as the country and also as the province, we are faced with the high rate of fatalities and crashes on our roads. As one of our key messages that we'll be de delivering today in the budget speech is to indicate that road safety is our collective responsibility. Uh, to further take that forward, as a Department of Transport, we have invested quite a lot uh, of resources uh, in technology and also in human resource. And uh, today we are really showcasing that. We are at Umkonden where we have established the state of the art web bridge where you are able to wear the tonnage uh, of, uh, of, uh, of goods that are being uh, uh, transported by our freight uh, vehicles. Of course, where we determine that there has been overload, we are therefore able to, uh, to issue a charge. Uh, to the operator that is responsible. At the same time, this is the center where we also uh, issue our driver's licenses and also our uh, the learners. So we are also showcasing the state of the art where we are able to detach fraud and corruption on issues of operating, I mean, on issues of uh, licenses at the same time. Uh, we are also showcasing our trainees that are subjected to a 12-month program uh, to ensure that they qualify to be uh, traffic officers. And uh, we, we, we see all these various vehicles around us. Um, there were a bunch of trucks that are now in line to go to the Waybridge. Talk us through some of the equipment that's on display. I believe there's a vehicle called the Sangoma. Yeah, yes, there is a vehicle called the Sangoma. What we have done, uh, we have ensured that within that vehicle we install the technology again instead of traffic officers stopping each and every vehicle that is passing through, the vehicle is able to detach that this particular uh, driver uh, and the vehicle that he is driving is not roadworthy. And he is able also to detach who is the owner of the vehicle and, and whether that vehicle has been uh, licensed or not. So as they stop you, already they know who you are. They also know what are the faults that are in your vehicle. Then they are able, therefore, uh, to target 
specific vehicles that are not complying rather than to stop each and every vehicle that is passing through. That is the state of the art that we are introducing as the KZN province. And that's really cool and interesting technology that's available here. Thank you to um, Mr. Sibusiso Gumbi, who's the KZN HOD of Transport here at the Mkundeni Peter Marisberg Testing Station, where the department is showcasing all their latest technologies to curb um, road fatalities and crime on the province's roads. And we're going to an ad break now, and Morning Live continues after this.